All right, I needed a way to turn on this Class A amplifier using a 12 volt pulse that comes into an RJ12 style connector on the back of the amp. In order to do that, I needed to send it from a control 4HC250 on the other side of the house. Uh, but first I needed to tell the HC250 that the system up here is turning on. It's not part of that system. So I have a receiver with a zone 2 trigger out. Whenever I turn on my theater, zone 2 turns on automatically. That turns on the power supplies at the bottom and it turns on these fans to cool the amps. Uh, so what I did is I wired uh, two conductors to the fan itself. When zone 2 turns on it sends 12 volts uh, to the fans. I shot that 12 volts across the house on a uh, Cat5 cable uh, to control 4. That tells control 4 that when it senses the 12 volts in programming to toggle the Class A relay. I have the Class A relay wired also through two other conductors on the uh, Cat5 cable coming from downstairs back up and into the amp. So to demonstrate uh, I'm just simply going to turn on Zone 2 and as you can see the amp turns on. So did the fans to cool the amp. Uh, to turn the entire system off I have macro programming but for now I'm just going to turn it off using uh, the zone 2 off so when I turn that off it takes about seven or eight seconds for the fans to turn off but when the fans turn off here in just a second uh, that'll initiate programming on the control 4 unit and there goes the amp so now I'm remotely toggling the power to not only that amp, but uh, the Emotiva amp. And uh, I also have two Rotel amplifiers. I don't know if you can see. There's one of them down there I'm going to be using in the system here pretty soon, along with my subwoofer Behringer amplifier. Anyway, that's it.